Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking ayam pinyat. So let's start cooking. Now we're going to prepare some of the spices that we need to prepare the broth for the chicken. Using my magic mix processor, I'm going to blend in one palm size of young ginger, one palm size of galanga or blue ginger. In. Two pieces of shallots, four pieces of garlic peeled, four stalks of lemongrass. I'm using only the white part, so just put everything in. I'll just need to roughly chop them up, it don't have to be into a fine paste. So something like this will be fine. So now we'll go ahead make our broth. I'm using a green pan Dutch oven. This is half the weight of a normal Dutch oven because this is cast aluminium. It's very very light. I love it. I've heated up this Dutch oven already. I'm just going to dry fry one tablespoon of coriander seeds. You don't have to put any oil inside there. Half a teaspoon of cumin. Just move them around. Don't burn them. This Dutch oven has a very natural ceramic coating, so it's non-stick. Once this is done, we we'll add in water, one liter of water. We will now add in the lemongrass, shallots and garlic and gingers that we have blended just now. Just put them all in. We want the chicken to fully absorb the wonderful taste of all these beautiful ingredients. We're adding also one tablespoon of turmeric powder. Mix them up real well. We add in six pieces of bay leaves. And we will need to add in one piece of chicken stock cube. Now if you make your own chicken stock then you do not have to do that. Of course we will need to season this in a while. As the chicken stock cube is already salty, I'm just going to add a little bit more salt just to shorten this up a little bit more. Just one teaspoon of it will be fine. So once this liquid is boiling, we'll add in the chicken. I have with me over here, one kilogram of one whole chicken. I've quartered them and I'm just going to put them in. I'm going to boil this for 10 minutes first and then I'm going to turn this to the other side. I'll see you back in 10 minutes time. 10 minutes is up, let's have a look. This Dutch oven is really, really beautiful. Aesthetically, this is one of the prettiest Dutch oven that I've ever seen. Now we just need to turn this to the other side and boil this for another 10 minutes. I'm just using low heat to basically just simmer it. It has been cooked already, but we just need to simmer. I don't want the liquid to overflow the pot and, and so on and so forth. So put the lid back on and we'll let this simmer for another 10 minutes. And then we are off this and without removing the chicken from the broth we'll let it marinate in this beautiful broth for at least one hour so i'll see you back in a while now we're going to remove the chicken from this broth smells really good before i do that i just like to give it a taste make sure that it's savory enough because we'll be using this liquid over here as a base for making the crispy bits as well as a doing a light batter for the chicken Wow, tastes really good actually. <laughs> so now we'll remove the chicken from the liquid and we'll let it dry for a little while so that the batter will stick onto the chicken easier. Look at how beautiful the chicken is. Okay, we just put this aside and let this dry for a while. Now we just need to strain this liquid up. So we we'll strain the liquid. We'll use this liquid, plus we'll add in rice flour, corn flour, and a little bit of baking powder to make some crispy bits as well as to make a light batter for the chicken when we deep fry them. I'll show you how to make the batter in a while. To make the batter, I'm going to add in 50 grams of rice flour, 10 grams of corn flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, mix the flour up properly 
and now we're going to add in the broth from the chicken I'll let you know how much we added in a while we do not need to add in any more seasoning inside this broth because it's savory enough for me I've tried it just now and it tastes really really good just a little bit more will be good I've added in 100 milliliter of the chicken broth so this will be good we just need to thinly layer this and create some crispy crunch for the chicken and of course for the crispy bits too some of you might be wondering how this broth tastes like if you have tried misoto it tastes a little bit like that okay so this is something that we want now if you want to have more crispy bits you can always times two the amount of flour and and broth once you are done with this batter we'll coat the chicken and we'll go and deep fry this we're going to deep fry the chicken now heat up a pot of oil if you see bubbles rising up from your bamboo chopstick that means the oil is hot enough already so we can prepare to deep fry the chicken i'm using medium heat over here so i won't burn my chicken easily now wash your hand i'm going to use just my bare hands to do this coat the chicken in the batter right make sure it covers every part of it drip it out a little and we we'll fry it now skin side down I'm going to fry two pieces at a time let them sit for a while before you actually turn them to the other side You want to fry them until they are really crispy and golden brown. I can feel the skin crisping up already. This will be so good. So remember, the chicken is cooked already. We just need to crisp up the skin and make the color really beautiful. Right, look at how beautiful the color is. Wow, feels really crispy to me. So when we have achieved the color that we want, we will remove this from the oil. Look at how beautiful this is. We'll continue to fry the other two pieces. And then I'll show you how we make the crispy bits. So now we're going to make the crispy bits. Just take a tablespoon, mix it up, and slowly just drip in into the oil, like this. Just one tablespoon at a time. When they come to a light golden brown, that means it's done already. We just remove them from the oil. Right, something like this will be good. It's crispy. We'll just remove this from the oil. And we'll continue with the rest. Before we serve, I'm going to smash the chicken. Ayam pingyak. The pingyak means to smash. We so, smash it so it's easier for our guests to actually eat the chicken. Just a bit hot down. And this is the way we serve it. I'll show you one more time. Using a cleaver. If you do not have a cleaver, you have a normal knife, just do it this way, all right? But since I have a cleaver, I'll just smash, smash, smash. And we serve it up. So just a finishing touch, I'm going to put all these crispy bits on top. Just add more crispy bits to it. These are extremely good with rice or even with beer. So we're serving the chicken with the crispy bits as well as the firm tofu which we have dipped in batter and deep fried too the chili that we have made just now and to make this dish more refreshing we have added in cucumber too and we'll serve this together with rice Now that the ayam pinga is done, let's have a taste Wow, very crispy, very nice Let's try the chicken Ooh, super tender Wow I can taste the ginger, the lemongrass, it's really good. Now I'll dip this in chili and try it with chili. Mm. The chili actually brings it up to another different level. This is really good. So ladies and gentlemen, 
I hope you like our recipe. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time.